Whatever you dishonor will quietly exit your life, even though it may be physically present. Whatever you dishonor will quietly exit your life. If it's your, even your spouse, and you keep dishonoring your spouse, they might be physically present, but they would have exited your life. It is the same thing with the anointing. When you keep dishonoring the anointing, the anointing exits your life, even though the person may be physically present. So the moment you dishonor a person, you have terminated the due impact he can make in your life. When you dishonor a person, you have terminated the due impact that person can make in your life. Church, God says in Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15, says in the last days, I will give you pastors after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. God says in the last days, one of the things he's going to do for you and I is to give us pastors after his own heart who will feed us with knowledge and understanding. And when God gives us pastors, what he expects from us in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, he says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in servants, the prophets, so shall you prosper. 2020 B or C. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophet, so shall he prosper. So God expects us to honor his servants. And as we honor his servants, may the blessing that is due us be our portion. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1, it says the mysteries of the gospel is given to his servants. Amen. So let's let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. So your man of God has been given mysteries. You remember the testimonies we had this morning? The gentleman's wife from childhood has had these boils. Ah, come, they came on vacation and then they come here says, Archbishop, my wife has boils. Just speak some simple prayer now. The boil that's been there for 20 something, 30 something years, suddenly it's gone and gone forever. The mysteries of the gospel. A son has not been sleeping for years. Son has not been sleeping for years. And then Rima time, I'm teaching on demons. And then I just make a statement. That you can be a Christian and have demons. You don't have to be wrong to have demons. And suddenly light shines in the spirit. He goes, prays the same prayer, simple prayers we pray. Foul, tormenting spirit, break loose your hold over my son. And for the first time in so many years, the son is sleeping like a baby, sleeping like how a child is supposed to sleep. The mysteries of the gospel given to us, stewards. Listen, may anything God has prepared for you and your family, May any blessing that is due you and your children and your grandchildren, may anything that is due your, your, your generations yet unborn, may nothing be able to take it away from you. May God be able to bring whatever is due you. If by an act of ignorance or even you did it, but today you have repented, you did something that has caused the grace of God to be withheld from you, that will make the blessings and the plan of God. If you have spoken in a way you are not supposed to speak, I stand as your pastor and I plead the blood over you and I ask that the glory and the grace of God will come upon you and the benefit of the honor of the man of God will be your portion and that of your family in Jesus' name. I prophesy it into your life and give me a believing amen.